Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. Today, we're diving into something super exciting, especially for all the Android gamers and emulator fans out there. We're talking about the brand new V1.6 update of the APS3E PS3 emulator for Android. Yep, the first ever PlayStation 3 emulator designed specifically for mobile just got better. And in this video, I'll walk you through everything, complete setup, best settings, and even a quick comparison with RPCSX. Whether you're new to this or already know a bit about emulators, this is going to be your go-to guide. So first, what exactly exactly is APS3E. APS3E is a PS3 emulator built for Android. It's still in early development, but it's showing a lot of promise. The developers have been working hard despite facing setbacks, like being removed from GitHub several times. That's why if you want the latest updates, your best bet is to join their official Discord server. That's where the newest versions and support from the community are actively available. Now let's get into the setup. Once you've downloaded and installed the APS3E APK on your device, open the app, tap on the menu icon, and the first thing you want to do is is click on install firmware. You'll need the official PlayStation 3 firmware. Once you select the file, just wait a couple of seconds while it installs. Compared to RPCSX, this process is actually quicker and smoother. After the firmware installation is done, head back to the menu, go to settings, and open the core tab. At the top, set the PPU decoder to recompiler, LLVM. This is crucial for smooth game performance. Then scroll down to max LLVM compile threads. Set this to six, or match it to the number of cores your phone has. You'll see many more options in this section, but don't worry, just leave the rest at default. Now back out of the core settings and open the video settings. This is where we really boost the performance. First, set the renderer to Vulkan. This is the best choice for most modern phones, especially if you have a Snapdragon processor. Then change the resolution to 720 by 480. It may sound low, but it helps games run a lot smoother without losing too much visual quality. Set the shader precision to low, and be sure to enable right color buffers. Scroll down a bit more and enable stretch to display area so your games fill the whole screen. Then, look for resolution scale and set it to 70%. This gives you a nice balance between graphics and performance, perfect for mid-range and even some lower-end devices. Next, tap on the Vulkan section at the bottom. Here, turn on Use Custom Driver. Then click on Custom Driver Path and choose your GPU driver from your phone's storage. This is usually only for Snapdragon users, so if your phone has a MediaTek or Exynos chip, you can skip this. Turn on Driver Force Max as well, if your device supports it. Once that's done, go back into video settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, and tap on performance overlay. Enable it and set the detail level to low. This lets you keep an eye on FPS and performance without crowding the screen. Now it's time to load your games. From the home menu, tap on install wrap PKG, and then choose your PS3 game file, either in PKG or ISO format. Remember to use legal game files that you own. After installation, if your game doesn't appear on the list, just hit refresh list from the menu and it should show up. Tap on the game and you're ready to play. So how does this compare to RPG? RPCSX, the Android port of the famous RPCS3. Well, while RPCSX does support more demanding titles and gets updates from the original PC devs, its Android performance just isn't as smooth, at least not in my experience. APS3E feels more native and lighter on the system, especially when you're using Vulkan with custom drivers. Of course, it's still a work in progress. You might run into bugs or game crashes, but for a mobile PS3 emulator, it's an amazing start. I hope this helped you get everything running smoothly. If it did, drop a like, comment below with your questions or game suggestions, and of course, don't forget to subscribe for more emulator updates and Android gaming content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.